Have you been thinking about things that, that I should be bringing to college yet? Actually, that's my biggest concern. I have no idea. It's very overwhelming. I'm the only person in my circle of friends who is going through the process. Yeah. When I got that uh, acceptance letter, we like all crowded around the laptop <laughs> and I clicked it and like my mom fell to the ground and I like jumped up and we were all like screaming. Uh, my name's Hannah. I'm going to be a sophomore at the University of Rochester. I'm Gabby. I'm a rising junior at Washington University. What to pack? What not to pack? Whether you choose a roommate ahead of time or you randomly select a roommate, but you can split. Mm -hmm. I brought a rug. My roommate ordered, she, we rented a microwave and a fridge, and oh, she did okay. that. I brought a lamp, she brought a mirror. So stuff like mm -hmm. that, it definitely helps to um, minimize what you have to bring. People are always selling things. Like oh, old, right. like a lot of the seniors that are like graduating will sell their old microwaves and stuff oh, that's for awesome. a lot less money. I'm Lisa Bleich, and I have um, I have three daughters, one who's graduated college and one who is a sophomore. And then I have another daughter who's a junior in high school. You know, in the beginning you think, okay, well, you know, you want your kid to have as much food, you don't want them to be hungry, so you buy them the biggest meal plan. But then what ends up happening is, depending on if you have boys or girls, I have two girls, they didn't actually eat all the meals that they had, and so it was too much food. So then we were able to cut down. Many colleges want you to buy healthcare within their university. Um, but you can opt out of that and you have to prove that you have health care through another means. You have to determine for your own family how are you going to manage the finances. Do you want your child to have a checking account, which I recommend, which is a great thing to do so that they can start managing their own money and being responsible for it. It's certainly anxiety producing when you're you know, sending that first kid off to school and even the second one, but it, um, it, it, it usually works out. I think you just need to let them take start to take the reins a little bit because it's going to be their journey. I just realized that it's going to get tougher for me now. In a couple of months she'll be away from home for the first time in her life. This is just the beginning.